Legend of Total War here with the fifth um, historical battle for Rome Total War Alexander, the Battle of Gilgamela. So let's do it. Oops. Darius fled the wreck at Isis, heading east for the river Euphrates. And so Alexander resumed his strategy of capturing the coastal cities of the eastern Mediterranean. As the Macedonians headed south towards Egypt in 332 BC, they accepted the surrender of several Phoenician cities, including Damascus. The well-defended island city of Tyre did offer some resistance, but eventually fell when a mole was constructed to link it to the mainland. Angered by the Tyrians' defiance, Alexander had 8,000 of them killed and over 30,000 sold into slavery. A similar fate also befell the residents of Gaza, and in the face of such examples, any further opposition crumbled. The Egyptians had never been willing Persian subjects, and they welcomed Alexander, who in turn offered tribute to their gods. Alexander then travelled to visit the oracle at Siwa, who confirmed him as the son of Zeus. In securing Egypt, Alexander completed the capture of the entire eastern Mediterranean coast, and in 331 BC was free to push on into Asia in pursuit of Darius. But the Persian king had been gathering another huge army to his banner and was moving to block the Macedonians near the river Tigris. Alexander captured several of the Persian advance guard and was astonished to hear that the Persian army consisted of over a million men. Calling on the formidable resources of his vast kingdom, Darius had also summoned scythed chariots, elephants, and some 40,000 cavalry. He had also learned the painful lessons from Isis and set about deploying his troops near the village of Gorgamela on a wide plain where he could fully exploit the advantage in numbers. Undaunted as ever, Alexander marched with his men through the night to attack on the morning of October the 1st, 331 BC. Okay, oh jeez, another one of these fucking up. You're kidding me. Okay, it's not, it's not that much. I thought these would be like full stacks as well. So, this is, let's see, Persian infantry. You need to know what they're up against. You can't just be like, just micro good, because that's, that's just not how you do this. Um, can't kill Darius on this battle either. Because historically he routed and then his whole army fell. Um, fell apart. Ooh, um, it's going to be probably difficult, but I really need to see the terrain. It's, it's, it's one thing to look at these and go, oh yeah, I just use this to match against this and this to match against that. We need to know how things are going to be deployed. It is 331 BC. Alexander's campaign against the Persian Empire is now in its third year and has brought the young king many victories. Alexander continues to lead his army deep into unfamiliar Middle Eastern territory. He is still only 25 years old. His scouts have brought him reports of a Persian force close by. It is King Darius, out to avenge his defeat at Isis. He has gathered around him a larger army than Alexander has ever faced before, comprised of troops from all corners of the Persian Empire. Darius has deployed his army across a wide plain and has specially flattened the field of engagement to create ideal terrain for his chariots. Darius has lured Alexander to his chosen battleground. His army far outnumbers Alexander's. The odds would appear to be stacked against the young pretender. But Alexander is confident. He knows his troops are superior. And he has a plan to exploit the weaknesses of both the Persian army and its commander. You fucking exploit him. Alexander suspects that Darius lacks personal courage knows that the superstitious Persian troops are unlikely to continue to fight on without their king. If Alexander can chase Darius into flight, as he did at Isis, the Persian army will likely fall into disarray. However, Darius is heavily guarded, 
and it will be difficult to break through to him. Alexander must outmaneuver or break through Darius's battle line in order to get to the king. Should he fail to rout Darius, the Persian army will march forward at full strength and engulf the Macedonians. All right, first thing, turn off strict camera and let's have a look at what how things are deployed. All right, so we have cavalry on this flank, cavalry on this flank. Who's this? Oh, that's different generals. So Darius is all the way over here. Little Scythe Chariots. Now is it is it scripted in the sense that if you can get him to rout, that the whole army will just break straight away, or is it just like a symbolic thing? Because sometimes they do that and say, all, all you need to do is break him, because that's what happened historically, but then the rest of them just keep fighting to the death. That's not what happened historically. It's sort of like what happened at the first battle, the battle that was at Chironia, where we where we broke the um the sacred band, but we still had to take on the rest of the fucking army as well. Because everyone just fought to the death. Um, so let's see here. Uh, we've got one load. Do, one thing that I'm noticing about this is that he doesn't have a lot of archers. Okay, if he doesn't have a lot of archers, we can certainly deal with that. Um, the, ch the elephants aren't that big of a concern, and if we can make them go berserk, which... Even flaming shot sometimes struggles with. Okay, so just thinking. I mean, it's it's a very large army, but like Persian infantry are absolute trash. They're if they come across our main line, they're just going to get destroyed. What we need to do, like I think, what happened historically is that Alexander engaged with this with their uh, with their left flank, and then left his like companion cavalry or whatever to fight there and then broke off, went around a gap in the army and went straight for Darius. And then he routed. And then, you know, was at the rear of the enemy infantry line. And while that was going on, apparently, you know, the, his his front line was crumbling because outnumbered by so much. But once they, you know, the general had left, they were fucked. Now over on this flank over here, a lot of cavalry but our cavalry should, at the very least, be able to match them, I think, because they're really high quality. As for you, I don't expect you to do really anything. Alright, let's do this. Now, as for my pikes here, we don't need to get into loose formation, but I'd like them to get go a little bit wider. Okay, the bouncer power also isn't as bad as what it was in the in the previous battle. So here they come. So yeah, what we want to be doing, I think, if we can make those elephants go berserk, that'll be a big difference for us. Just hold your fire until I say so. We have to wait until they get to this point here. As for the Scythe Chariots, well, we don't want the cavalry coming into contact with them, so let's... Yeah, these guys here, they need to go much wider. Keep the cavalry behind here, just for the time being. We want their cavalry to charge into our phalanges because that'll fuck them up. All right, here we go. If we make them go berserk and they charge into into the back of their line, that's the ideal situation. So over here, let's put these guys more on the flank because I want them to charge into the enemy cavalry, not just not just fight them. We'll start making our way over here, to charge into flanks. Men 
Okay, if they're sending cavalry to come over here, that's not good. No, we do not want to fight Scythe Chariots with our cavalry. Do not want. Do not want. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I'm glad he yeah, took the initiative there. Yeah, look, you're going to have to get rid of them because they're on our flanks. Even if it's not ideal. Okay, we, ju we just took out that flank there. That's good. The elephants went berserk. Okay, now take off flaming shot and aim for... Aim for Darius. We just fucked up his chariots like crazy there. The God Fuck yes. The enemy Thank you, killed. elephants. Now he flees the field like a coward. Is they working for me? Alright. No, no, no. Just keep staying back. We wait until they engage with our front line. That hasn't even started yet. Another one of their fucking guys getting destroyed by their elephants. The elephants are actually bad for the enemy on this. Oh, fuck me. How fast are they? Get back. Get back. We have to wait for... Darius to leave. I'm pretty sure he's not coming back. So they just sent the chariots, no, no, uh, the Hikarian cavalry through. Alright, I don't want anyone ho holding a defensive position, there's no need for it. Darius will be leaving very soon. I'm gonna go around and hit those other generals. Ignore these. Not important. Okay, shoot over here. Use flaming shot because we can break them easily with that. I don't want to be fighting their infantry with, with this stuff. Not until at least their uh, their generals left. Don't forget they've also got a lot of experience. Okay, take out the cavalry. So look over here. He's he's fucked. They're trying too hard to get rid of our cavalry with their infantry, that they've weakened their front line considerably. Infantry. Take this guy out. I don't want Alexander fighting that. The enemy general flees! Press forward so that the spirit of his army is a broken tool. No, whatever, it doesn't matter if we don't break him. Get in over here. Because they're wrecking through our line. Look at this motherfucker. Arrogant shit. Deal with you. Cavalry, come in over here. Get rid of their cavalry first. Charging over here. Good to see our guys are not being too overwhelmed by the mass numbers. But now we throw in our cavalry. And we get them. Okay, now the balance of power is actually in our favor. Oh, actually, it's slightly still in their favor. It's alright. Run them down so they don't come back. But we've got the cavalry superior, and that's what—that's the main thing that's needed. Would you fucking do as you're told? And the morale advantage. Take out these Syrian, this Syrian cavalry. Never saw them in the campaign. Oh wait, there's Alexander. The enemy army is in right. flight. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield! The center here. Just just get in there and fucking kill them. Break them. All 
Right, redirect to over here. Actually, we really need to get back. You gotta be, you gotta be hitting their rear. You can't just be like, get into melee, it's not good enough. Balance of power's in our favor, so that's good. Get over here. Truth be told, I do not think that routing the Darius on this battle makes that big of a difference on this difficulty. Like, you can route these units, it's not like they stand and fight to the death even if he's still on the battlefield. Okay, they're gone. Battle battle's won. Our infantry got fucked up, but our cavalry's still in good shape, and if this was campaign, that's all I'd really care about. Fuck infantry. Useless beggars. I'm sure there'll be some people be like, You wouldn't have won that battle if the elephants didn't get lucky and oh, bloody hell, well, whatever. Apart from the fact, you know, it, my plan went exactly according to plan. On the first try. There's, al there's always naysayers, ignore them. If we win didn't win one way, we'd win another. Because our army is still very much intact. Although, you know, we've lost 57% of them. We lost infantry. If I've just got cavalry, I'm good. Alright, we're done though. Heroic, heroic victory. Yeah, this is all right. A crushing victory worthy of a great... Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So, like and subscribe. Uh, oh, what's it called? Historical Battle 6, the Battle of the India, whatever, is next, which will be the final one. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.